Okay, so this is a demonstration of how Tech Home Solutions sets up a home for automation and control using various uh, types of control points. So this is uh, just one example there's, that I'll show you. There's multiple ways of controlling the home once you have the proper control systems in place. Um, we use things like touchscreens, which is what we're looking at here, in-wall keypads, remote controls, Mobile devices are to come as well. Uh, there, there's going to be uh, a system for that looks like this for the iPad that's going to be released in the future. Um, I'm only going to show you some of the more common automation controls along with uh, whole home audio video just to give a basic over, overview of the potential of our systems. So for this demo I'm using a standard all-in-one touchscreen PC along with uh, an RTI T3V RF two-way remote control. The uh, control system that we're using is again RTI. Uh, this particular software that's allowing us to view uh, the automation and control of your home on a standard PC is a new system that RTI has come out with called Virtual Panel which allows us to create a completely custom interface for your home on any size of screen that uh, you have on a, on a desktop or laptop or, uh, or in this case a touchscreen all-in-one system. So this is, uh, this is the RTI virtual panel is meant to both complement the existing offering of touchscreens and remotes that we offer from RTI and it also gives you the ability to control and view the status of your home from a remote location over the internet. So if you have this software on a PC or a laptop uh, anywhere outside of the home as well, you can have this exact same functionality that I'm going to show you here today from anywhere in the world. So the first thing I'll cover is lighting control. For this uh, particular system, we've created a 3D block diagram of the two main floors of the home in order to make it really easy to see what light lights are on in the home and control them uh, just by simply clicking a room and as you click it you can obviously see the lights uh, the graphic showing you that the lights are on in that room so as we go through we can just quickly turn on uh, different rooms in the home outside lights if you'd like backyard outside lights um, and it, it gives you the two-way feedback. Want to turn them off, just simply click them again or hit the all off button which turns off all of the lights. So as you can see, uh, I'll just pan the camera a little bit so that you can see the lights in the kitchen. If we select the kitchen lights on here, the lights in the background are turning on. If I select the living room, you can see in the background hopefully as well the lights turn on. Turn them back off again. Okay, so on top of uh, individual room control, we also have uh, independent scenes which uh, can obviously be programmed and customized to whatever you'd like them to be. Um, so if we say uh, push casual, you can see different light lighting zones turn on to completely programmable levels. So if you if you want the kitchen to just be turned on 30 percent at certain lights at, at a time you can do that no problem so as we scroll through these uh, different scenes we can see it changing see the room the rooms changing on the graphic to show you what's on and what's off and again if we turn something on we want to turn it off we can just simply click that and it'll turn that zone or room off so another feature uh, so when we if we click on this we can see all the light switches in the house at one time and uh, same thing these are the same scenes but as we do it we can see the different levels of the of the lights in each zone or on each these are individual light switches and these are the zones so we can just simply click these to change the levels and hopefully you can see somewhat in the background that the lights are turning off and on so we, we turn these all off so on top of this, the control features of the uh, remote control as well give you the same sort of functionality, just on a smaller screen. And you can you'll be able to see here 
if we select lights and then select the switches this gives you most of the switches that are in this particular home all on one screen so you can quickly see what you're on and what you're off and as we select a, a scene here we can see the light switches turn on and off on here as well and here uh, go to certain rooms so as, as we do this you'll see things changing on here at the same time so now we can turn off certain things just by clicking this button these buttons on here and you'll see them change on the screen as well at the same time we we have these exact same features we can go zone select and let's say for example the kitchen so we see the lighting levels on here the same as we see them here so as we change them on here you'll notice that they'll change on the remote as well hit all off let's say dinner so everything changes at the exact same almost exact same time it's almost real time let's turn everything off let's go back to maybe turn the kitchen on and then go back to the main screen here um, so that's that's a general overview of lighting control um, next that you'll see on here is your climate control and let's select climate on here as well just so I can show you that they work in unison so as we change things on here they will change on the remote as well so as we turn things down it's gonna you'll see it changing down here at the same time uh, HVAC control is not used quite as much simply because the home is automated so it's it's going to turn the temperatures up and down as uh, uh, depending on what you're doing through the day and, and uh, if it's uh, day or night or however you have it however we have a program for you um, another thing we see on the main screen here obviously is the weather uh, for the week we can customize this to be any location you want we can have various locations different days whatever you want to see on your main screen for weather we also have the same functionality on the remote. So, uh, whole home music. We've uh, designed a simple whole home audio section on the screen here, which allows you to choose from a number of playlists that are uh, customizable from any PC in the home. So you basically can go into any computer and change songs in a playlist, and they'll just automatically change on here. Um, we can use either. Uh, iTunes or media player doesn't doesn't really matter what what uh, software you're using to control them. Um, so just to show some of the functionalities here, so if we choose uh, some different rooms here that we want to play them in, let's choose uh, a few rooms, and then we can simply uh, select a playlist, and this will start playing the playlist in all of these rooms. I don't know if you can hear it or not, uh, so if we turn on living room as a last room here, you can see uh, the artist information control here, let's go to living room, music, choose a different playlist just as an example, let's go casual. You see it, you might not be able to see a change there, but it is changing on the remote as well as we change through songs. On top of this, if you want control through a any type of mobile device, whether it's an iPhone, uh, Android, which is what this is, um, iPad, doesn't matter. You can simply select the icon and you'll see two-way functionality of the uh, what's playing currently. As I change it on here, select a different song on here, you should be able to see in the background the music changing instantly. From here we can go and also select different artists, genres, whatever you want from here and add them in. Add them in or change them, whichever you like. So just as an example 
play now. And it will start playing. <laughs> 